Previously on Next Level Adventures. We began the Tack Heck Loop, a 450 km ride around some of the most beautiful landscapes in central Laos. The first day's ride is absolutely beautiful and we explore some gorgeous caves and we finish the day off with an amazing sunset at one of the beautiful lakes on the east side of the loop. And thankfully we weren't alone, we'd met a lot of people on the loop, it's quite popular amongst the backpackers and travellers here in Laos. So let's pick things up on day two and I promise you that day two and day three as you'll see in this video is by far the best part of the loop. So strap in and let's have a real next level adventure. Good morning. Um, nice and early this morning, beautiful day. And um, day two on the loop starts today. And there's a big group of us now because last night there was a big bonding session on the fireplace and the barbecue and a few beers and a few ciders and things like that. And a few people are setting off nice and early now. Um, but I think I might ride with a few other people today, we'll see, we'll see. Depends if they want to ride with me or not. <laughs> but um, we're going to continue doing the loop. Day two on the loop actually has lots of really unique attractions. So I'm really excited to share with you the second day of the loop. So let's get our stuff together and hit the road. We've got a partner in crime today. Say hello to Timmy. What's up guys? He's Australian. He's Australian, so don't take it out on him. Right? I'm not a. Uh, I'm not like all the other ones. <laughs> I'm only mildly Larry. <laughs> all right then, let's go. This is the first time I've ridden with someone in I don't even remember when. I don't know how long he's going to stay with me, <laughs> but it feels really good. Woo! We've got a friend, Zelda. We've got a friend. Yeah, just on the side of the road here, me and Timo just having a look at these ancient Buddha sculptures that have been etched into the side of the road. Just, just literally on a bend randomly on the mountain. It's quite pretty. Okay, me and Timmy. Here we go, baby. Look at this. Vibes today. Perfect weather. Yes, I can't tell you how amazing it is to be riding with someone else. This is actually the second time I've ever had a riding partner in two years. And yeah, it's just really nice to share such a beautiful place with someone else for a change. And me and Timo were able just to go slow and soak in the vibes and find little viewpoints and pull over and take pictures and take breaks and just, just have a real good old time together. And as usual, the Takek Loop is full of caves and too many to check out. So we just randomly chose one and it was called the Dragon Cave. And uh, let us show you the inside because it's um, <laughs> very interesting. This is the next stop on the loop, the Dragon Cave. Ooh. Yeah, there is a height limit on this one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like hunched down. <laughs> I don't know how far this is gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My precious. Stretch zone. Oh. So we'll bring it up. That's Can you see the crystals? Yeah. It's uh, calcium, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. This is Paddy Doyle in the dragon cave. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting for the fish that he wants to feed. <laughs> I know I shouldn't say this, but like. If there was an earthquake, we would get squashed like a pancake. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Great things to say when you're crawling through a tiny cave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like after a minute of crawling, hunched back, it reveals the big cavern. And now we just need to find the, the dragon and the treasure. <laughs> 
Any sign of the dragon? Timo, did you find the dragon yet? Uh, I found the eggs. Oh, you found the yeah, eggs. Yeah. Just the eggs, okay. <laughs> there are stairs that lead all the way up and then I think that's the exit but we're going to continue into the depths and I bought fish food but I haven't seen any fish yet this entire tack heck loop is starting to sort of turn into just a big adventure park you know you drive 15 kilometers and you see a cave and you drive 15 kilometers and you you can go for a swim and you just keep going and it's amazing roads and amazing turns, beautiful views. <sighs> it's definitely worth doing in Lao, 100%. Yeah, come follow. Yeah. Into the depths. <laughs> With the dragon's mouth we go. <sighs> All right, there is actually something here. Meters trekking 400. So I think we go up here. We'll let you know if it's worth it. Come on! <laughs> Long sleeve and jeans. That was not a good choice. <laughs> that was hard. Okay, it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay, wait till you see this place. It's called the Cool Pool, and it's in the description, the location. It was quite tricky to find, but we found it. Oh my God. I promise you, this is no color correction. This is the color of the water. <laughs> it's really turquoise colored, especially when the sun creeps behind one of the clouds and it blows up even more. And you can see so many fish and it even looks like there's coral but it's not it's just green plants and according to one of the travel guides that girl was reading at the hostel this morning there was apparently food here so we did plan to eat lunch here because we're starving now but there is no there's no cafe there's no restaurant you can't even get water here so just if you're coming to swim come to swim and bring bring some food with you or something because this is where you'd want us i mean we're going to stay here for at least an hour i would imagine and swim and enjoy this paradise and Timmy, he's a smart man, he's gone back up the road because he saw a shop that had some cold drinks. So we're going to have some refreshments and we're going to enjoy this paradise. And hopefully some other people turn up because it um, feels, feels wrong to have all of this to myself. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers.
and the mountains go so high. just incredible. I mean, this is a, a must do, a must do. And as we come into the cave, <laughs> look at these scenes guys. Look at these scenes. Look at the mountain in the distance over this rickety wooden bridge. I love Lao. Yeah, welcome to the beautiful river resort here at Kong Law Cave. This is the end of day two, and unfortunately, we've had a bit of a bad ending. So I'm I'm actually not staying here. I'm staying at a place about five minutes away. But look at this place. You know, it looked much nicer on the pictures. So I was a bit jealous. So I was like, let me come and have a beer with you. So I bought me and Timo a couple of beers to celebrate a, be a beautiful day's driving and, and a, a day full of adventures. And bless him when he gets here, I'm flying the drone and I was gonna take a shot of us cheersing the beer and that was gonna be the end of day two. And he's lost his wallet, just like I did. Can you believe it? He's lost his wallet and it must have bounced out of his pocket on the potholes on the way down here somehow. And he doesn't have any money and he needs his wallet, just like I needed mine. <sighs> Absolute nightmare, bless him. So he's gone back and he's gone looking for his wallet because he hasn't got much light left. It's um, it's 4.30. So I'm gonna have this beer in his, uh, in his honor. And we're gonna pick up tomorrow, day three, when we go into one of the most beautiful caves in the world. And I'll meet up with Timo and hopefully he's found his wallet. I'll lend him some money if he doesn't and we'll figure things out later. <sighs> Travel, it's up and down, isn't it? Welcome to the third and final day of the Tackhek Loop. Timo, did you find your wallet? Uh, we have not, but I'm mildly hopeful because we're going back and uh, we just gotta have a bit of hope. We are the Lost Wallet crew. Lost we? Wallet crew. He does have a separate ATM card in his backpack, so I'm gonna lend him some money for the rest of the day and then hopefully he can get some money out back in Tackhek, right? Geez, you're a good guy, man. That's all right, no worries. Um, and the first thing that we're doing today is we're gonna go to Kong Law Cave itself and we've got ourselves a bow driver and we're gonna head into the cave in this direction. So Timo, you ready? Let's get it. Yeah, we, I think we've saved the best till last today. Not only is this cave amazing, but we're gonna be doing, hopefully, some amazing zip lining as well. <laughs> Let's go. This cave tour commence.
this is awesome. I mean, cave footage is never the best. You just kind of have to be here, but it is incredible. Okay, after a what, five minute boat ride. That was really nice, really nice. We've now got to walk up through this passage and he's gonna take the boat around and we're gonna meet him up here and we get to walk through this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cave. <laughs> well, be careful. <laughs> okay, we made it back to the boat. Okay. I'm just narrating my vlog. <laughs> Okay. Sabadika. Yes, the Konglaw Cave is a must. It's actually about half an hour in that boat through the cave. It's about seven kilometers long. And you get spat out at this little village and you can see the local people creating arts and crafts with recycled cans and doing the traditional sewing method, making rugs and other little things that you can buy to support them. You can get lunch here. You can also rent bicycles and cycle up a couple of kilometers to a few more villages and explore one of the most remote areas of Laos, to be honest. And just a quick one, you can put your motorcycle here on the boat because from this village, it's almost like a shortcut back to the main road. Um, but we're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing the complete loop around back to Takek. And yeah, absolutely beautiful experience. Uh, the highlight of this little local village is definitely what's inside this cardboard box. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! And after we relaxed and recharged at the little village, we got back on the boat and headed back into the cave another half an hour through darkness and into what seems like mother nature's belly. <laughs> it was a real, really interesting experience. And then um, from there, it was about, about an hour and a half drive back through the gorgeous roads up to the next stop on this loop and the final one really. And we've saved the best till last as we're gonna be zip lining across jagged sharp rocks and well, there's more to it than just zip lining. So let me explain, let me show you. I think it's a bad idea if I carry my phone. Getting strapped up, baby. Get that bulge happening. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. We're going zip lining down there, baby. <laughs> okay, zip line number one is 480 meters above the uh, limestone gorge below. Oh yeah. Good luck, buddy. Shit myself. Power on. Cheers, baby! Woo! Yeah. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, bye.
Ready? Yes. Ba. One, two, three. <laughs> The view. This is gorgeous. <laughs> terrifying, man. This is terrifying because you have to just sit here and then let yourself go. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God. So in between each zip line, you have to sort of attach yourself on and then you climb down these ladders. Wow. Awesome. Oh, this is a rickety little bridge. Oh. Oh. oh, mate. This is literally my idea of hell. <laughs> it's good fun though. Wow. Woohoo. All right, four zip lines down. How are you getting on? Uh, I'm feeling good. Mate, it's look amazing. At my, look at my legs. It's amazing. <laughs> shaking <laughs> like a leaf. <laughs> I'm shaking like a shitting dog. You're I'm not amazing. sweating because it's hot. I'm sweating because I'm like, oh my God, this is scary. <laughs> and we've got like two personal guides as well. And a That's personal amazing. photographer. Yes. Hello. <laughs> oh. oh, I look down. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is the worst part. We're in the middle. Oh, oh. oh. Sit down. No, 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 no. Just sleep. Look at the, look at him. He's just like on the, on the edge. edge. Okay. I'm okay, man. Let's just go. He just wants to get off. I'm not doing the Irish jig on purpose. My knees have gone to jelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Ah, this is so much fun. <laughs> I wish I came in cooler than that. You know? <laughs> I wish I could just land on it like they do. High five, mate. Yes. That was incredible. So good. Would you say best thing you've done in Laos? One of the best for One sure. One of, at least. The value for money, it is incredible. <sighs> the scenery is amazing. It's terrifying, but super exhilarating. And I even though, do. even though I don't look like Tom Cruise, I felt like Tom Cruise, <laughs> you know, climbing up the side of the mountains. The rock climbing part was, was the biggest surprise. Yeah, I think. I think climbing up and over parts. the boulders and the cliffs to get to the zip lines and get to the bridges, for me, was the funnest part, yeah. obviously. It's super cool. <sighs> Thanks it's... for coming, man. Oh, pleasure. Thanks for having me. We got 150 kilometers driving back to Takek, <laughs> hopefully in time for a beer at sunset yes. and round off this incredible Takek loop. Yes, it's been amazing. And so, after that incredible zip lining experience, we drove the back end of the loop towards Tack Heck. And thankfully, we did make it to the town in time for a beer, and we caught the last few rays of sun. Cheers, bro. We made it. We're slowly wrapping up our Lost in Laos series, but don't worry, we still have Pak Se Don Det and the Thousand Islands to come. And I hope the series is inspiring you to come to Laos because it's an adventure 
and I'm just buzzing that I've made some friends. <laughs> okay, see you very soon in the next episode.